So after doing some research, I realized there's two ways to go ahead and find an actual product. There's a paid way, you can use AdSpy, you can use PP ads, or there's the free way. And the free way being going on TikTok, searching TikTok made me buy it, TikTok finds, Amazon finds, just scrolling through there, seeing what's up. What's that? Just wanted to go ahead and do a different method and just try something before it gets popular. But before anything, I just want to go ahead and give full credit. This was not my idea. This is from right here, Leon Green. If you want to go ahead and go check him out, check out these other videos. He's really cool, upbeat guy, enthusiastic, really knowledgeable. Knowledge. So I'm just sharing me following his process. So first thing I went ahead and did is just go on commafee.com. I signed up for it. I went to myip.ms, typed up 23.227.38.65, which is going to be the IP address for Shopify. And then I just went through page 500 up to 510. I copied all these links, all the tabs just up over here. I also tried uh, in the pages 400, 450, 470s, 480s. So it was a bunch of different links I had open. Not all at the same time. I sorted through all the stores and exit out of the ones that weren't drop shipping stores and then clicked on the ones that were. Now let's use this one for example. So suppose this was a drop shipping store. What I did is I copied this one. I went to comma feed, click the subscribe button, pasted it there, and then right here, I would go ahead, paste that, and then save. So this one might be already saved here, that's why it's not working, but after I saved it, it's gonna show up over here. So these are some of the stores that I went ahead and copied and pasted over here, so I'm subscribed to them. So basically, whenever there's an update to the store, when there's new products added, there'll be a little icon right over here. So for example, right here, the most recent ones were 24 different items, 215. There was a bunch of other ones here, but I already went through a bunch of them and then just deleted them unsubscribed because some weren't drop shipping stores. But right here, there's 517 items I have to sort through. So after I went ahead and sorted through some, so let's use this store for example. I would go to that store, open it up. After I open it up, I would go ahead and use the Chrome extension right here, best selling products. So it's sort through the best selling products. So this one just seems to be a one product store. Um, so I went ahead and clicked it. I thought that was something interesting, something different. I copied it and then just pasted the link onto a spreadsheet. So, so far, these are the different products that I wanna go ahead and check into a little bit more. I wanna show you some of my favorite ones here. Uh, I think the product with the most potential would have to be this one right here, Hair Volumizer. So here was the original link that I found. So this is already a branded store. You can see right here, it has room. But here's the thing. This was the only one of its kind that I found. So I went ahead and checked on AliExpress. And of course, they're gonna be a lot cheaper there. Like I found some in the 20s uh, and the 30s as well here. So, I mean, it's not a bad price. They're buying it for 20, 30 bucks and then selling it for 139. It's a pretty good markup. So I went ahead and went to Amazon just to see if they have any and there was absolutely nothing. So here, I'll just check again for you. I searched a hair volumizer the only ones that i found were going to be the actual ones from the company right here so you can see 139 139 and there was nothing else like it you might find some similar products but the thing is i want to find the exact same one that's similar 25 bucks nothing so what that basically got me thinking is if there's nothing more on amazon then that's probably the biggest competitor or the only competitor and so what i was thinking is probably buying it for the 20, $30, and instead of marking it up, up to the you know 140 that they're selling, undercut them a little bit, maybe sell it for 99, maybe sell it for 49, 79, I don't know, but just test that out. So that was the that was the ones that I really was interested in. And there were some other ones too that I liked. And actually that first one I showed you right here. So I know how fidget toys, fidget spinners were a big thing. And this cube, I mean, it's a block of wood with a bunch of fidget things on it. I've, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I searched on TikTok, there was like one viral product, or there was like one semi-viral video with like maybe 40,000 views, but that was about it. So I think this one could have potential as well too, and it's not that hard to replicate, so it's literally just buy it on Amazon, and on Amazon it was pretty cheap, I think it was like $15, yeah it was like 15 bucks. so it's something simple to buy off Amazon. Just go ahead and record and test that out and just try the organic way by just posting a few times a day consistently. So that was the second one that I liked. And here, let me just bold them. Fizzy cube. And ah, this one right here. So this was the third product I liked. It was this right here. It's a hair remover, a hair eraser. I thought that was like a really simple, easy concept. Um, 
I searched on TikTok. There was a bunch of other competitors on TikTok as well too. But I think because it's an easy product, it's not going to cost too much to actually replicate that. And let's see on Amazon. Oh, I didn't search. But on Amazon, it's probably maybe 10 bucks. Actually, let me search it up. Uh, hair eraser. Yeah, so 12 bucks, 15, 16 bucks, 20 bucks. Here's one for like $5. So yeah, it's pretty cheap on Amazon to get. Just go ahead and start testing that. So that's the third one I wanted to try. And then the fourth one that I was interested in, it was this right here. So this has to do with the gift giving niche. So I think this would have been perfect for Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, any sort of gift giving season, Christmas too. Um, it's basically a custom picture inside a crystal. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, right here, it's a keychain, but you can see what all the other products have too. So heart shape, jingle bell, um, just a regular rectangle, circle. So I thought that was something interesting and uh, cool and custom to try out too. So far out of these uh, 11 that I listed, there's four that I really like that I wanted to try out. So yeah, that's the research I've been using so far. And on Common Feed, I still have a bunch of other stores to go through. So after I sort through all these other stores, after I find all these other products, I wanna go ahead and just add it to my spreadsheet again. So I have a big spreadsheet of a bunch of products and then do some further researching, like um, right here seeing uh, TikTok competitors, maybe Facebook competitors, and just kind of keep going from there. Yeah, that's the method I've been using so far. So hopefully it'll help me find my first winning product. And I just wanna go ahead and document the whole journey as well too. Um, we'll say, I did try to sell beforehand like many times, not just this year, but the year before, the year before, the year before. I just haven't been consistent. So hopefully me documenting this puts it out there. So I'm actually more consistent on going ahead and doing this and hopefully it helps you too. But if you like this type of content, just go ahead and make sure you subscribe down below, leave a comment, question. 